Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today I will explain how to run support vector machine by splitting the data in nine. Support vector machine is a powerful and widely used machine learning algorithm that is used for both classification and regression problems. SVM is a discriminative algorithm that separates the data points into different classes by constructing a hyperplane or a set of hyperplanes in a high dimensional space. SVM works by finding the optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin between the two classes, with the margin being the distance between the hyperplane and the closest data points from each class. Let's try to understand the concept of support vector machine. We are having two classes, one indicated by plus sign and another indicated by minus sign. We want to separate these two classes with the help of the hyperplane. So we will identify the nearest uh, points in both the, in both the groups and we will pass a line. We'll try to maximize the distance between this between these two points. So this blue color line is known as a hyperplane. We want to maximize the distance between these two points and these two points are known as a supporting vector and the distance between these two points is known as a margin. Now let's see how we can do this in line. Activate the input output from here. I'll activate the CSV reader node from here. Double click on it. Browse the data set. Connect part one. Open. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the file table. Kindly refer my previous videos to understand the flow of this tutorial. Now I will activate the column filter to only include those variables which are necessary for our model. Right click on it and configure. Remove all other variables and include age, cholesterol, touching blood sugar. Maximum hours of exercise and heart business. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the filter table. I think fasting blood sugar is not to be included. Again, configure, remove fasting blood sugar and instead of it, include resting blood pressure. Click OK. Right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the filter table. Quite good. Now activate SVM learner from here. Right click on it and configure. Make sure that the target variable is a heart disease. Don't change any default settings because these are the kernel settings which, which require a high dimension, which is used for high dimensional classification. Click OK. Activate the support vector machine predictor. First, you will have to run this. Execute. It will take some time. Now, connect this with SVM predictor. And configure. Tick mark both these boxes, click OK, right click on it and execute. Again, right click on it and see the classification. So, this is a prediction done according to the algorithm. And this is the original data set. Now, what we want to do is we want to split the data. So, I'll activate the partitioning from here. And this partitioning, I'll introduce. Here. So let's disconnect this. And let's disconnect this also. So, whatever data which is there, we'll divide the data into training and testing data set. The training data set will go in the learner, and the testing data set will go in the predictor. Right click on it and configure. Activate the stratified sampling according to the hard disease and make it 80. So 80% is a training data set and 20% is a testing data set. Right click on it and execute. Now connect this with the SVM learner. Right click on it and execute. Now connect this testing data with the predictor. So this predictor will get its learning from SVM learner 
and the data set it will fetch from the from here right click on it and configure make sure that both the boxes are ticked click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and see the classification so you can see here the algorithm has classified now we want to see how well the algorithm fits the data so for this there is a concept of confusion matrix let's see what it is so uh, we are using the confusion matrix to measure the accuracy of the model the classification accuracy of the model so here if you consider that the person is having the covid and the kit the covid kit detected it that yes the person is having the covid so uh, this is a success for us 50 such cases are there here the person is normal and the kit detected yes that the person is also normal this is also a success so 50 plus 114 are correctly classified cases but if we talk about this if a person is normal and still the kit detects that a person is having a covid so six mixed misclassified cases are there similarly a person is having a covid and the kit detects it that the person is normal so 22 plus 6 are the misclassified cases also known as a leakage in the model that the same thing which we uh, we want to check it for our model also so we want to check that when here no is there see this is misclassified cases no yes misclassified but no no properly classified cases yes yes properly classified cases so activate the scorer from here connect the scorer here right click on it and configure activate the hard disk from here click ok right click on it and execute again right click on it and view the confusion matrix so you can see here 44 are such cases in which the person was not having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted correctly 75 are such cases in which the person was having the heart disease and the algorithm also predicted yes so 44 plus 75 is 119 so 119 are correctly classified cases but if you talk about this a person was having a heart disease but the algorithm uh, predicted no so 27 in this case a person is not having a heart disease and the algorithm predicted yes so 38 plus 27 65 are such cases which are wrongly classified the classification accuracy of our model is 64.674 percentage which is quite less it should be reasonably about 80 percent so this is how you can run support vector machine by splitting the data set in nine for more videos on nine kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please refer my playlist in which i already uploaded many videos on nine